Hello, pupils. How are you? Okay, today we are going to talk about singular and plural by adding ES. The last time we did soft G, we've done soft C words, we've done soft G words. Then we are talking about singular and plural today. We've done singular and plural by adding X. But today we are going to do singular and plural by adding ES. But before we go into that, let's look at our specific objective. All right. Upon completion of this lesson, you'll be able to change your singular to plural. Identify the key rules regarding the plurals with ES. Yes, when you want to write your singular and plural by adding ES, there are some rules you need to obey. Identify the difference between singular and plural. Okay, the key rules for plurals with ES. When you make word plural, you add either an S or ES as an ending word. There is a rule to help you decide which one to use. Here is the rule. If the word ends with S, C, H, S, H, S, X, or Z, use E, S to make it plural. Let me explain. The one you did before, like bag, B, A, G, but ag, bag. When you want to write the plural, you just write your S. But this one, a word that ends with CH that or SH that or S or X X or Z when you want to write the plural you use ES to form the plural do you understand yeah let me go by it again if the word ends with CH SH S X or Z. Use ES to make it plural. Now look at this. These are plural ES plural forms. Now look at S, X, Z, Z, CH, and XH. Whenever a word ends with Either of this, you want to write the plural, add your ES. Don't just write S, but add ES. Now look at the examples. The singular and plural, potato. Potato is P-O-T-A, P-O-T-A-T-O. O ends it and O Whenever a word stops with letter O, you add what? ES to form its plural. Though there are some exceptions, but we're not going into exception now. Now look at this one. Box. B-O-X. Box. X is the last word there. And we want to write the plural. What do we do? We add our ES. Then let's go through church, churches. Dress, dresses, match, matches, dish, dishes, class, classes. Beautiful. Now, now it's your turn to say this once. I'm listening and I can hear you from here. Oh, you're surprised. Yes. Let's go to number one. It's my turn. And the second one will be your turn. I will do it that way. The first one is ostrich. Ostriches. Then the second one, your turn. Then go over. Again. Louder. Beautiful. Then as. I want you to say the plural. Again. Beautiful. Now, run through the examples I've given to you. And say the plural forms then you observe the difference then let's go to our sentences our sentences read the sentences form with es words plural form with es words the first one is there are many foxes in the park now look at the foxes what's the last word with fox 
Then you can see many, meaning there are more than one. We added EX. There are many foxes in the park. So I would like you to read number two for me. Let's go. I'm not hearing you. Say it louder. Now let me read it for you. I saw many ostriches in the zoo. Let me go again. I saw many ostriches in the zoo. Many, meaning the ostrich there, the more than one. So look at the word ostrich. Ostrich ends with CH. Now we are adding ES to it to form, to make it plural. So read number three and say it louder. Again. Say it louder so that I can hear you clearly. All right. Now let me read number four. Wash and dry the dishes, please. Wash and dry the dishes please. Then you read number five. It's your turn. Again. Now, clap for yourself. Again. Beautiful. Okay, we've gone through our plural, singular and plural by adding ES. Now, remember the rule we said. That whenever the word ends with O, S, H, Ch, C, H, Ch, 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 Z, Z, X, when you want to write the plural, you put, you add what? E, X. You add what? E, S. That's the rule. Now, I'm going to give you an assignment. Write the plural for each word by adding S or ES. Then the first one, and I can see picture of an apple. This one is an apple. Write the plural of an apple. The plural two words. Write the plural form of it. Then the other one, the picture of brush. So I want you to write the plural of brush. Plural of potato. The plural of watch. Pig. Tomato. Fox. Ball, sandwich, axe, house, and pee. And I think that's the end of our class today. So see you next time for another plural. We are not done yet. So I want us to complete it this week. So bye. Then submit your assignment to the previous email I gave you. Write your homework and submit it there. So can be marked. Bye.